Hello and welcome to the big fight. And this is really a big fight which is taking place also on all social media platforms. Yes, there is a certain amount, perhaps even a lot of garbage out there on online media, but should there be any regulation of it? Should there be any control of it? And the government and Mr. Kapil Sibyl in particular got their fingers right into that particular hornet's nest. So we are here to try and see what all of us make of it. We have a great panel and we have a large audience. And how many of you spend all of your life on online media? All of your life? Yes. 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 Like what a shame. 24 hours a day. <laughs> I'm always on Facebook. <laughs> You're always on Facebook? Yes. Always on Facebook? <laughs> okay, so, you know, now you know what you're dealing with. Your life that's, is censored. That's what you're dealing with. <laughs> that's what they're dealing with. They say they spend all that time on social media. And now, uh, well, some of them actually agree with them, and they also spend all that time on, on social media. Renuka Chaudhary. Why uh, me? Start I'm starting, I'm introducing all of you. I'm starting to introduce you. <laughs> so you're sitting there right on the edge. So Renuka Chaudhary, great to have you with us. Sudhir Tailang, renowned political uh, uh, cartoonist. Uh, Derek O'Brien, uh, leader TMC, quiz master, lots of, yes. lots of avatars. Pralat Kakkar, wonderful to have you um, with us. Uh, Kamal Farooqi. Uh, great, uh, great that you could join us, uh, Rajesh Charya, who is the president of the Internet Service Providers Association. Ankit Faria, who's got a really cool job description of being an ethical hacker. <laughs> <laughs> How cool does that sound? <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you, hi, hi, I'm Ankit. I'm an ethical hacker. <laughs> okay, fine. We get can't it. get better than that. Yeah, it's, 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 it's an it's oxymoron. It cancels itself. <laughs> How can you be an ethical hacker? You can He's be. an ethical you hacker. Can be. So, wow, that's a new... <laughs> okay, he calls himself an ethical hacker. If tries to be unethical hacker, you need an ethical hacker. Also. <laughs> the government's an unethical <laughs> hacker. He's an ethical hacker. I haven't even I haven't even finished the introductions and the sniping has begun. So, and <laughs> last but not least, uh, Sanjeev Narula, IT lawyer, who tells us that actually there are a lot of controls already which are out there, and yeah, some of them yeah, I have to <clears throat> I have to confess. Till I was speaking to you a short while ago, I didn't even know all those controls. Yeah, they are time. very much in place. Yeah, controls are already yeah, in place. Okay. Right. Um, why is the government trying to control the internet? It's not a matter of control. Nobody is trying to control anything in a democracy. We don't. We only try to set direction for an evolving society while we even protect children. So besides that, it's not real. And something that, that can uh, affect a society, that can uh, hurt a sensibility. Because in a country like ours, which is so large, which is so uh, diverse, <coughs> Uh, and we are in a transition period where we are entering a new knowledge domain and a new com communication domain. Uh, there are a lot of it... people left out who don't really understand or interpret. Can I just interrupt you? It, the, there are countries which have tried this. And the countries which have tried this are China, Iran, you know, a few others. So you're not Consult concerned about... The minister has very clearly uh, said that he wasn't trying to say remove this or remove that, but he was trying to start a debate, which I think has found a resonance. We, we must discuss it in a democracy. Okay. The pros you and the You should discuss. Cons. Actually, that, there are a whole that, that, lot of people who enough. are not in this realm of uh, affairs who are, who are affected by what is online. Because some chap in the village will say something and it can spark off a forest fire. So it's only with that concern that we should debate it in a democracy. Okay, Let us debate it. That's fair enough. It's you should debate. New, uh, thing Whether that's you do it or not, there I would agree with you. You are <laughs> entitled to debate anything in a, a democracy, including this. So what's, what's wrong with what is being suggested? Um, you know, Vikram, what has happened is that I think a couple of pictures propelled Mr. Kapil Sibyl to actually come out and say that internet should be censored in not so many words. No, he didn't say censored. No, it, it means one and the same thing. But what I want to say is that I want to quote uh, an Abu Abraham cartoon which appeared during emergency. And the cartoon was his two characters, the long and short one. One has a placard in his hand and it says that we have a great censor of humor. <laughs> you cannot censor humor. You cannot censor sarcasm. You cannot censor wit. You cannot censor vitriol. You cannot censor satire. Each morning when I sit up, uh, I sit at my drawing board, I read all those newspapers in the morning. <coughs> I read about the hospital fire. I read about uh, the serpent slapping a woman. I read lots of things which disturb me. I feel really completely hopeless and helpless and frustrated and angry. 
but I went out my anger on that little white piece of paper. I draw my cartoon and I went out my anger. But okay, these so people do no, not have a, have a forum. These people do not have a forum. So they went out their anger in, on Twitter, on Facebook, on the cyber world. Why do you want to, why do you want to block this thing? Okay, Derek, you know, uh, first <coughs> of all, uh, I mean, you're, you're here with us to discuss a slightly different subject, but all of our hearts continue to be with the, with the, with the victims of, of the fire. Um, and, and the aftermath is all efforts are being taken, no doubt, to try and get, get sucker to them. But, you know, you've, you've also seen the sort of comments that have been coming on the Internet, on Twitter, on Facebook, even about something as sensitive as a fire. Does that, does that not anger you at a time like this? Not at all. In fact, yesterday was, you know, uh, when you're stuck in Delhi, as I was, because Parliament was on, so I couldn't go back to Cal, a lot of what I got on Twitter was, in fact, very soothing. 95% people were sharing. There was someone who sent so out a tweet probably reading to me. different messages than I was reading. I uh, got, I mean, I I'm talking messages. about the messages which were coming to me. They were, uh, I would say, 70-80% of them were very positive. And there were 20-25% who were purging. So if you look at it from a positive point of view, that you're giving people a chance to purge, sure, 10 or 15% of it was trash. But I think at the, at the end of it all, at the end of it all, uh, there was a balance. And if someone went overboard, you kind of told them to go overboard. Uh, you know, Vikram, my view on this is that all this content is self-generated content. So in that self-generated content, there may be a small percentage who are misusing their freedom. It's the old story which we used in debates in school. I think it will still be, it'll still be very relevant today. Where was this, uh, in a packed cinema hall, this guy got up and shouted, fire, you know? And he said, and there was a stampede after that, and many people died. But he said it was my freedom and my liberty to shout out fire. So it's the kind of the same thing. As long as you know where to draw the line, since you asked me, I don't think if we can use today's debate to try and go beyond couple civil statements. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.